Burnley came to Old Trafford today and another disappointing draw against the team will be fighting relegation just like we do against Stoke City but again it was a brilliant performance but it isn't good enough and when this happens we play well and drop points at home against relegation candidates some problem it can't happen twice twice they're playing well and dropping points so there is some problem in there we definitely can't win the title if we draw against teams like Burnley, Stoke City at home. If even top four, it's difficult. It's very difficult because Liverpool are winning, Arsenal are winning, City are winning. And Tottenham have dropped points against against champions. So okay, they drop points, but still a big valuable one point for them. But we are dropping points at home against relegation candidates, and that 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 is going to hurt us at the end of the season. But credit where it's due, Tom Heaton was absolutely unbelievable today. He could have said anything that Zatan tried to seize a kick and that was unbelievable save. And overall, he was brilliant. He's the man of the match, best player this weekend for me in uh, Premier League. He was, he was, he was magnificent, unbelievably good. He was in depth there with the Heya mode, really. After the game, Daily Blaine comes out and says he cannot believe that we did not score. David De Gea on uh, social media says it's uh, difficult to accept that the victory has escaped from us. But if we're gonna win games, we're gonna we have to win these kinds of games. And top four, I think if we have to. If we want to win top four, we have to have to beat such teams at home, especially at home. It's unacceptable to not beat them. And Zlatan again, uh, what a chance he had! in the last minute. You can't say he played poorly, it's just that he can't score a goal. His positioning is great, his passing is good, his movement is decent, he's lost the pace and that's that is having an adverse effect. But overall his positioning is good. Last minute Park Park crosses and he had he would have scored that every time and he, he can't hit the target at the moment and that's that is very, very difficult for us. He has to score if we go to any chance of top four of winning the league, winning the league now is okay, it's, it's very difficult, but top four, he has to get back to form, and when he's not in form, play Rashford up front, give him a break, he's 34, he's playing every week, put him on the bench, he will try to Rashford or Martial when he's fit, play them up top, they are strikers, they are young, they can run, they give something different to Zlatan, you have to put the ball to him and he chest and controls and we build from there, but you can put the ball over defenders when you're runners like Martial Rashford and try something new because this is very predictable and we are just not clicking with Zlatan in the team and he has to find his form as soon as possible if we have any, any chance of winning against big teams like Arsenal, Tottenham coming up next, he has to fire, he has to find his goal scoring touch and the referee Mark Klettenberg was absolutely pathetic. He had one of the worst days of his life. He was he was very inconsistent with this decision. Herrera, I think, first year look out. It's hard to year look out. Second, when he slips, he actually slips. And and he sent off and it was it was heartbreaking to see. He's saying he slipped. He doesn't listen. He says, Go there, there's it and get out of here. At least listen. He, and he clearly slipped and was so unlucky angry Herrera. He was brilliant the whole season now he's gonna miss next games next crucial games for us and that is gonna be very difficult for us now we need to change the formation now we need to change the gameplay now it's it's very predictable for us uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic I think need to be benched he can now come in and score three goals next game and shut up the haters but when he's not in form he has to give rush for the chance he's the future Martial they are the future play them up front they have pace they can run and we have to try something different because this is just not happening. Overall, a very disappointing game. Before the team sheets arrived, I was expecting an easy win, 3 0, but nothing's easy these days for us. It's, it's, it's disappointing. It's very, very disappointing. We sh could have won the game, we should have won the game in Stoke last season as well. We dropped points against Newcastle United at home, 0 0 draw, and we lost the Champions League play, play some goal difference. And I'm afraid. We can get the same now. We have dropped points against Stoke at home. We have dropped points against Burnley at home now. And top four getting very congested. Teams winning. Teams ahead of us are winning. And we got to win. We got to win as soon as possible or our season is done. Our season is done with just 
What 10 games of the league done? So now on Thursday we go to Turkey away at Fenerbahce. Then on Sunday away to Swansea. So there is lots of travelling and I hope Memphis gets a chance in Europa League because qualification is almost almost done. So against Swansea we have to win. It's a must win for us and then there is international break. So I hope to see you soon again and hopefully Manchester United can get back to winning ways because we need it. We definitely definitely need it. Please do like, comment and subscribe and share the videos. Thank you.